Hi, it's David from Life with Parkinson's. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And everybody else, thank you for coming back to watch this episode of GDNF and Fast Walking Self Challenge. There is a lot of exciting information to unpack in this episode, so let's get right to it. Well, you probably have a couple questions about what this self challenge is. And that leads me to, I have a couple questions for you to see if you qualify to participate. Obviously, anyone who wants to participate can. These questions will narrow down the specific eligibility requirements we're looking for. One, do you have Parkinson's disease? Two, do you have up to an hour every second day available to do some walking? Three, are you excited about walking? If you're not excited about walking, that's okay. I hope you'll participate anyhow. I know there are some of you out there who can't walk, but maybe you can do another activity to participate as well. Okay. Medical disclaimer time. If you're not sure if you should participate or not, please seek out professional medical advice before starting any new activity or training just to be on the safe side. As always, I ask everyone to decide for themselves and encourage you to do your own research. Okay, back to the fun stuff. Now, obviously, we're not going to race against each other. We're just going to race against ourselves. But always, I love trophies. Maybe you can go to the thrift store and get a trophy when you defeat yourself. I thought I would never win one. Okay, by now, you're like, David, what the heck is GDNF? What is this all about? GDNF stands for, and I often butcher these scientific names, so please don't hold it against me. I'm just a person with Parkinson's sharing what I have found out. Glial cell-derived neurotrophic factor. I think I caught it that time. This is something we may be able to influence the production of in our brains by doing fast walking. So I'm just going to read you something here quick because the experts really know how to explain it better than I do. GDNF is a protein that in humans is encoded by the GDNF gene. The most important part of this relating to Parkinson's disease is that it is able to promote the survival and potentially the revival of damaged or dead dop dopaminergic cells. To me, that is very exciting. And the neurons that it protects and revives are the ones that we need for Parkinson's disease and ALS. And because of this, it has been investigated as a potential treatment for Parkinson's. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a large amount of research on it, but the research I did find on it was very, very encouraging to me as a person with Parkinson's. Okay, next part of the video. Where the heck did this all come from? As many of you know, I am always looking for the next best thing to lower Parkinson's symptoms and provide that little bit of relief. And for me, I'm excited when I get the opportunity to share something with you guys. After watching John Pepper's video, where he goes on to explain about how through fast walking an hour every second day, he was able to reduce his Parkinson's symptoms to the point where he no longer required medication. That brought me, that hooked me right away. Because I've tried so many different kinds of activities. The only one I can think of I haven't tried is dancing. I've tried HIT, which is high intensity interval training, where I would run, walk, run, walk. I've tried weightlifting, months of going to the gym. I didn't get the results I was looking for. If you remember, a little after Christmas, I started unboxing and ping pong. They were great activities, but I just didn't feel that they were promoting the Parkinson's symptom reduction that I was looking for. And then I finally found this a couple weeks ago and started fast walking. At, well, I couldn't do an hour. <laughs> like, let's be honest here. I wasn't in the kind of shape to do an hour. But I'm trying to work my way up slowly. And if you, if you can't do an hour, I suggest you do what you can and work your way up from there. This is a long-term project. I believe it took him eight years to get fully off his medication. And this is what I've been looking for. 
what is the specific type of activity that we need to do to reduce Parkinson's symptoms? Okay, don't tell me that just do exercise, it will lower your Parkinson's symptoms, and it may, but it's not what I've discovered. Personally, I've gotten to the point now where there has to be a certain activity that we can do to lower our symptoms because literally the only one I haven't been able to research is dancing just because I haven't been able to find a setup to do it with. So that's what I'm saying. There's got to be a specific exercise out there. There's got to be something to focus on to reduce the symptoms. And when I started this about three or four days into it, that I started to feel better already. But I want everyone to take that with a grain of salt. This is meant to be a long-term process, and it might not happen overnight. Yes, I've gotten some results, but do I want to get super excited about it? Not at this point. I need a little bit more experience for myself to say yes or no. And through John Pepper's video of personal and anecdotal experience, it does show that Besides him, there have been many others who have tried the fast walking that have had good results. When I went looking for clinical data, I couldn't find anything on humans, but what I found is that on lab rats who had decreased GDNF through <laughs> fast walking, I guess fast walking on a spinning wheel, what else could you call it? Clinical data through that study showed that there is the potential of this being a possible thing, that a certain amount of fast walking could promote the reproduction of GDNF in the brain, which would allow the revival of the dopaminergic cells. The biggest thing I found for the proof is in the pudding was through the Parkinson's UK site where they did, did a study on administering GDNF directly into the brain through a port. And I just want to read you a little bit here. I believe there were 41 people in this study, and what they said was, after nine months, there was no significant improvement in symptoms but in the people taking the GDNF, they showed like up to 100% revival of damaged brain cells. Everyone went on to complete the 18-month study. So in this study, they had two groups, one that was getting the GDNF and one that was getting the placebo. And after nine months, they did brain scans. And of course, everybody had a brain scan before the study started. The placebo group had no improvement in the brain scan and the GDNF group had 100% improvement. And then everybody went on to complete 18 months. And at the end of 18 months, there were large improvements in symptoms and revival of the damaged brain cells. So this offers good hope and encouragement that the GDNF angle could show a lot of promise. For me, I've been fast walking for about two weeks now. And the biggest thing I noticed is that in the morning when I wake up, I'm starting to wake up in an on state. And that hasn't happened for a long time. And what really got me excited was that I was able to take out the garbage in the morning. The task I have unfortunately handed Haley for the last number of months. I can't remember the last time I was able to take out the garbage. But it has to be out at 7 a.m. in the morning. And when I did it, I <laughs> nearly cried. So this is why, so this is a big reason why I'm sharing this with you guys. Okay, last part of the video. I challenge you. What, me? Yes, I challenge you. Me? You gotta challenge yourself. I'll be recording my results on my blog on my website, and I'll share that link in the description below. And I encourage you to join the blog and put your comments on there about how you're doing. And hopefully we'll all learn from each other through shared experience. And what I hope to achieve is a reduction in medication and an improvement in Parkinson's symptoms. But we'll see. I can only, I can only look so far into the future. And I hope you do participate. And let me know if you're going to or not. This would be a really exciting project to get a few people together working on the same thing. And remember, if you defeat yourself, oh, that looks nice. There may be a trophy. Oh, wow, man. And as always, thank you for taking this journey together. Thank you for watching, supporting, liking, and sharing this video with your family and friends. Please leave a comment or a question below. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good day. Goodbye.